The scene is an Evanston living room. The guests are a group of 20 women, bright, energetic, stay-at-home wives and mothers. After talk of families, politics, and the most recent community news, one of them takes the floor. She firmly believes that women have a duty to be active outside the home and that they can do this as part of their first obligation of being wives and mothers. There is more that we can do. There is more that we should do. With that intent, in 1889, Elizabeth Boynton Harbert called the group to action. This group would come to be known as the Women's Club of Evanston, and as stated by its founder, the objectives for which it is formed are mutual helpfulness in all affairs of life and united effort toward the higher development of humanity. Since that afternoon meeting in 1889, the Women's Club of Evanston has been a constructive force in Evanston and the surrounding communities, responding to local needs year after year. One of the club's first efforts illustrates its responsiveness and its effectiveness. In 1891, several cases of typhoid fever appeared in Evanston, and an epidemic threatened. Only 28 years old, the city of Evanston had no hospital, depending for its medical care on Cook County Hospital, nearly 24 miles away over rough roads via horse-drawn carriage. The WCE acted decisively and quickly, renting a house on Emerson Street, equipping it to care for typhoid victims. When a smallpox outbreak occurred, the women knew that something more was needed. The club went to work raising funds for an emergency hospital and presented a gift of $3,600, a very significant sum at the time. The money raised was the first contribution to the institution we now know as the Evanston Hospital. The hospital is just one of many Evanston organizations owing its initiation to the Women's Club of Evanston. Did you know that during the First World War, the WCE raised more than $1,000 to send an ambulance to France to assist in the medical care of our soldiers and allied forces. In keeping with the club's mission to advance educational opportunities to all, the members set up the first rural delivery library in the world, sending great works of literature near and far. Beginning in 1918, the WCE organized a community kitchen in the clubhouse providing meals for the ill and underserved in cooperation with the government's food conservation program. Seeing yet another unmet need in the community, members organized a group sewing effort to make baby layettes and other needed items for new mothers. This tradition continues to this day. While many organizations support the disadvantaged with their time and money, Few have had as great an impact on the local community as the Women's Club of Evanston. Each year, the club strategically designates funds to organizations with a particular focus, targeting those who are most in need, yet least able to find funding. Our philanthropic funds have served as seed money, allowing pioneering nonprofits to flourish and develop into well-respected institutions, such as the Park Ridge Youth Campus. We are proud of the special niche that we have created, funding those who would not otherwise have the resources or ability to apply for other grants or awards, while meeting the needs of our growing and diverse community. For more than 50 years, the annual Benefit Show has brought together local talent and the community for an evening of eclectic entertainment and lots of laughs, while raising thousands of dollars for local charities. In the mid-90s, members decided to dramatically increase the impact of this event by partnering with particularly worthy local organizations. This collaboration, on stage and off, brings new talent to our stage and energy and attention to these deserving groups. These beneficiaries truly become members of the extended Women's Club family. Active community participation is about more than just money. The Women's Club has donated countless hours to such community stalwarts as Meals on Wheels, The Soup Kitchen, and Deacon's Closet. Beyond that, the club has created numerous outreach projects in response to specialized needs, filling Valentine gift totes for the mothers of the Battered Women's Shelter, baking healthy snacks for the Family Focus After School program, transforming a room for a needy family at a local shelter, and developing memory albums for children in transitional living arrangements. These good works have not gone unnoticed.
The Evanston Review, on the occasion of the club's 50th anniversary, noted, The community advancement of this city has so often found its origins and its vital impulse in the women's club that it is impossible to relate the story of one adequately without relating the story of the other. Evanston would fall far short of its present stature as a cultured, socially conscious, civic-spirited town except for the vision and the practical aid of the club. A recent beneficiary wrote, Please extend my thanks to all the members of the Women's Club of Evanston. Your recognition of the needs of the Evanston community and your contributions are very much appreciated. The impressive list of organizations you support reads like a directory of Evanston social service agencies. Indeed, the Women's Club of Evanston has been there, in a meaningful way, for more than 116 years. And this gracious clubhouse at Chicago Avenue and Church Street has always figured in the plans and dreams of the Women's Club of Evanston. As early as 1895, the club began a regular program of saving to construct its own building. On March 11, 1913, amid much fanfare and city celebration, our historic clubhouse opened. From that day forward, it has housed countless meetings, events, weddings and celebrations and the entire Evanston community has benefited in some way from its presence. We are constantly reminded of the enduring connection between the building and our mission, for without the clubhouse there would be no club. Women join the club for the exceptional community outreach and philanthropic opportunities it offers. Women stay in the club for the incredible friendships they make. I think the Women's Club is often its best when members are facing some of their personal worst. We really rally around our members. We are very supportive of each other through the good times and the bads. We see each other through literally a lifetime of experiences. And if you ever need advice, you can find a member within the organization that has somehow experienced something that you are going through. And you can always find a helpful ear. As a 30-year-plus member, I feel I have made some really lasting friendships. I've enjoyed the activities and the many social service aspects of actually working with people in the community. I think for me, what is so special about the Women's Club of Evanston is the relationships that I have between all the generations of the members. You know, I don't have a mother anymore, so I, I found a lot of moms in the clubhouse. And I, I enjoy their, their history and, and the times that they've had at the club. And I just feel so special to be a part of them. Some of my most favorite moments at the club in the last few years have been at new members workshops. This wide range of women with all different backgrounds, ages, interests, one by one stand and share something that no one else would ever guess about them. It has been so moving and at times breathtaking and I leave those meetings in awe and so excited about our membership and getting to know yet even more women as interesting as, as the friends I've already made here. After all, we are a group for a lifetime. The clubhouse gives us our centering point, a rallying place, our home. A place where we can see and feel the history of our organization, drawing strength and inspiration to carry on our 